We won't go as far as to say that modern sports cars look bad, it is just that the old designs look better. To support this claim, we come to you with an exciting lineup of the newest retro-style high-performance automobiles and fresh restoration projects that bring back to life iconic body shells. So subscribe to Automotive Territory and enter our time machine to get away from the generic, plastic-looking inventory of today's dealerships. Enjoy the ride! KTRM 7170 The smallest sports car from KTRM has the same vintage vibe as the rest of the brand's range, but weighs less than 970 pounds. The model comes either as a factory-built car or as a complete kit that packs a few 170 exclusive features. These include 14-inch silver or black Juno alloy wheels wrapped in a VIN ZT7 tires, LED taillights, and new striped graphics. The standard engine is a 660cc turbo from Suzuki that makes 84 horses and 86 pound-feet. The mill is matched to a 5-speed manual gearbox, propelling the car to 60 and 6.9 seconds and topping off at 105 mph. Customers can choose between two versions of the model, the road-focused 170S and the track-only 170R. The former gets a full windscreen, black leather seats and a Momo steering wheel. The R modification replaces the standard road suspension with a sport-tuned one, gets a limited slip diff, and features a carbon fiber dash and race seats. Volvo P1800 Cyan The Swedish Cyan racing team revives the legendary Volvo P1800, a 1960 sport coupe that could rival the Jaguar's E-Type aesthetics. Firstly, Volvo's former motorsport partner addressed the weakest point of the original P1800 and that is reworked its 2.0-liter four-cylinder. With the new tech, fuel injection and Borg Warner turbocharger, the reborn engine makes 413 horsepower and 336 pound-feet of torque and comes paired with a 5-speed manual gearbox from Hollinger. Everything else under the bodywork is new as well including a race car-like double wishbone suspension and limited slip rear differential. Other notable additions include 18-inch forged wheels with Pirelli P0 tires. To keep it real, the P1800 Cyan has no electronic driver assist, while a full carbon body helps to keep the weight under 2200 pounds. Alphaholix GTA R300 As you can easily guess from its name, the Bristol-based Alphaholix specializes in creating unique Alfa Romeo resto mods. This particular model is inspired by the company's previous 290 build, but the crucial difference between them is the GTA R300's full carbon fiber body. The car is motivated by the original Alfa Twin Spark engine with an increased displacement of 2.3 liters and the output of 243 horses. The application of the composites further reduces the car's weight by 88 pounds and in pair with the engine boost pushes its power-to-weight ratio to 300 horses per ton. With these upgrades, the GTA requires more precise handling and control on the road, so Alphaholix, fitted with the lightweight springs, double-adjustable aluminum gas shock absorbers and Super Ligera brake calipers. The cabin is dominated by red leather upholstery contrasted with a black Alcantara dashboard and a Momo prototype steering wheel. Gunther Works 983 Speedster The Speedster modification of Porsche's 911 Generation 983 is an extremely rare beast. In fact, only two 1985 Carrara 3.6 Speedsters were built, a green one for the designer of the 911 Ferdinand Alexander Buzzi Porsche and a silver one for the comedian and avid Porsche fan, Jerry Seinfeld. In 2021, the Californian workshop Gunther Works attempts to broaden the model's inventory by releasing 25 Speedster units that will accompany their own carbon fiber coupes. This modification of the last air-cooled Porsche 911 keeps the weight under 2600 pounds and has a stiffer chassis from the new roll cage, roll hoop system and various aluminum reinforcements. The flat six engine was carefully modified by Roth Sport Racing, so the remapped 4.0-liter flat six delivers 435 horsepower and 335 pound-feet of twist. 
Other vital upgrades include adaptive suspension from JRC, central lock hubs from Isenlor Racing, and Fuchs-style five-spoke wheels. Dunkerfurt D8 GTO Individual Series It is widely believed that the Belgian boutique car maker Dunkerfurt is planning to cease production of the road legal version of the D8 GTO JD70. However, this tiny racer will not go out without a bang. The individual series moves the game forward with the hypercar levels of customization. For example, bodywork could be entirely made of exposed carbon fiber. The Audi-sourced 2.5-liter turbocharged 5-cylinder has new fuel injectors and engine mapping. This results in a 14-horsepower increase, setting the parameter at 429 HP. The DHGTO GD70 individual series still has 413 pound-feet of torque, and all of its might is routed to the rear wheels through a 5-speed manual transmission with rev matching. Supposedly the fastest Donker Vort ever, this model achieves 2 Gs of lateral acceleration and reaches 124 miles per hour in less than 7.6 seconds. If you enjoy retro-styled autos and want more videos about them, make sure to like this episode and leave a comment below saying I want more. Thanks for the feedback and let's proceed. Classic Recreation CR1 Camaro this new retro built by the Oklahoma-based Classic Restorations is based on the 1969 Chevrolet Camaro that acquires custom bodywork, new tech, and a selection of modern engines. The car has a more aggressive front fascia, new PIA driving lights, and 18-inch forge-line wheels with Wilwood calipers and BF Goodrich rival tires. The chassis is improved with Chris Elstenson's chassis work suspension, subframe, and roll cage. On the drivetrain front, you can choose between a 430HP LS3, a 505HP LS7, or a flagship LS9 with 685 horses. All of them are offered with a 6-speed automatic or an optional 6-speed manual from Tramac. On the inside, the old-school atmosphere is untouched as much as possible, but you are safer and comfier with the new Sparco racing seats, CR1 custom gauges, and 5-point camlock seat belts. Morgan Plus 4 CXT Previously known as a retro-looking sports car, the Morgan Plus 4 tries itself as a rally racer for the most challenging conditions. The model keeps its 1930s looks but introduces plenty of novelties aimed at demonstrating the strength and versatility of its new CX generation aluminum platform. The Roadster's chassis setup remains practically unchanged though it gets fitted with a bespoke suspension featuring EXE TC coilovers and plus 6 derived wishbones. The BMW-sourced 2.0-liter turbo produces 255 horses and comes paired with a 6-speed manual, an electronically controlled limited slip diff and a raised exhaust system. The latter allows the car to have 9 plus inches of ground clearance. The wheels and tires are new, the underbody is protected by a 5-piece guard and the rear houses an equipment rack with two spare wheel tires, a toolbox, and two storage containers from Rotopax. Smith Aletha Remember the Z8 Roadster that BMW built in the early 2000s? In 2021, a new startup, Smith Vehicle Engineering, is reimagining the iconic model as a true two door coupe named Aletha. The build has a new carbon fiber bodywork and most likely uses underpinnings from the first Z4. Exterior-wise, however, it is definitely a Z8. The model gets a reshaped kidney grill, shaved bumpers, a new hood scoop, and forged monoblock wheels. The latter are fitted with AP racing brakes and are wrapped in Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. For power, the Aletha acquires a 4.4-liter naturally aspirated V8, once used by the M3. It is reworked to produce 550 horses and is mated to a 6-speed manual with a limited slip differential. Unleashed by E-Type UK As per Enzo Ferrari, the Jaguar E-Type is the world's most beautiful car. The folks from E-Type UK clearly see eye to eye with the Italy legend, since their entire business is centered around this iconic British coupe. This custom shop has recently reached the pinnacle of their restoration craft, 
embodied in the 1970 Series 3, released under the Unleashed moniker. Without ever detracting from the model's essence, the experts upgrade to the chassis, strengthen the inner sills, extend welded bonded louvers, and finally, install handcrafted bumpers and LED headlamps with DRL halos. The drivetrain is represented by 400 horsepower V12 with increased 6.1-liter capacity, bespoke fuel injection, and performance cooling. It is paired with a 5-speed aluminum transmission. The cabin is custom throughout as well, getting handcrafted leather seats with heating, aluminum center console, piano black dash, and engine start button. Everati Superformance GT This collaboration between Superformance and Everati results in a transformation of one of the world's most famous race cars into an electrically powered beast. The installed dual motor drive unit produces over 800 horsepower and 590 pound feet of twist, enabling this GT40 to sprint from a standstill to 16 pH in under 4 seconds. As standard, the supercar boasts a fully independent suspension for wheel vented disc brakes and a direct DC fast charging. The latter feature is pivotal, giving the car's maximum range of just 125 miles. We should also mention that Superformance is licensed to build continuation GT40 models. This means that despite the electric heart surgery from Everati, the vehicle remains eligible for the official Ford registry as it carries the original steel monocoque chassis. Alphys Continuation Series Grabber Super Coupe Alphys is a British automobile manufacturer that operated between 1919 and 1967. In this century, the company is being revived by the enthusiast and entrepreneur Alan Stoat, who managed to restore 20,000 original drawings and found plenty of new old stock parts. With these on hand, the company plans to release a six-unit continuation series that will be based on the pre- and post-war designs from Elvis. The first model is the aluminum-bodied Grabber Super Coupe that uses a fully galvanized version of the original T14 chassis and an Elvis built 3-liter inline 6 engine. The mill is now fuel injected, so it now makes 172 horsepower, 42 more than before. For maximum authenticity, the cabin of the coupe is left untouched. There is brown leather upholstery, analog dials, and a wood rimmed steering wheel. Mitsuoka Rockstar the Japanese automobile manufacturer Mitsuoka has a certain affinity for classic American and British cars, so the company's roster is full of vehicles that were designed to follow styling cues of the most prominent icons of the times long gone. In case of the Rockstar, it combines the chassis of the fourth-generation Mazda Miata with the exterior of the 1960s Corvette. Its pointy front looks almost exactly like the C2, but gets tiny round headlights instead of the hidden units. There are also four around taillights, arch fenders, and muscle car style wheels with BF Goodrich wrapper. For the Rockstar, the company offers 30 unique colors, each named after an American city. Mechanically, not much has changed, so the 1.5 liter Sky Active engine from the MX5 continues to produce 132 horses. Same is true for the interior, that greets you with the Mustang infotainment, a new leather trim, and a few added badges. Let us know what you think about these retro-looking masterpieces of the automotive design. Like this episode and leave a request in the comments saying I want more. Subscribe to Automotive Territory and remember that we've got more informative content waiting for you behind the links on the screen. As always, may the torque be with you!